If you're familiar with the Layers panel in Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop, you'll feel right at home in Adobe XD. I have the Layers panel open here on the left, and in it I can see all of the artboards that are on my design canvas. If I click on content on any one artboard, XD is going to tunnel me inside of that artboard. I can see the artboard name here towards the upper left. With the back arrow, if I want to click it, I can go back up to that root of the document once again. Now layers are stacked on top of one another, and the Layers panel reflects that document hierarchy. If I want to move an object in the hierarchy, I need to just select it and drag it up or down within the stack. Notice here on the canvas, I've got a footer that's being covered over by the actual artboard content. I want to move it up in that hierarchy. So I'll go ahead and click on the artboard, and I can see there's my footer mobile. It's down towards the bottom. I want to move it on top of this other content, so I'll select it and just press and drag it up until it's where I want it to be, and then the artboard on the design canvas reflects that change. I can come in and rename layers here in the Layers panel by double-clicking on the layer, changing that name, and then hitting the Return key to commit the change. Typing the Tab key on the keyboard will advance me down to the next layer in the list, and Shift-Tab will take me back up the list. Right-clicking on any layer name will show me a number of options, such as grouping objects, converting them to components, or marking them for export when I'm ready to hand off to my developer. Lastly, the filter here towards the top of the panel allows me to filter for specific layer names across all of the artboards in the document. I can also narrow the filter to only show images, shapes, or text by selecting from this drop-down list. And that's the layer panel in action.